Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own social media manager portfolio with Canva. So let's say that you're aiming to work at some company that need a social media manager. And then the next thing they ask you is your portfolio. And then you don't know where to start. You already have some project that you handled probably or you don't have any experience whatsoever creating your portfolio, I hope this tutorial will help you to create that. So I'm going to use Canva to create our portfolio today. As you know, Canva has a lot of templates that you can browse around. And for today, I'm going to try and search for a portfolio template. So I can do that by simply typing out portfolio on the search bar right here. Don't forget to change your search from projects to template. I oftentimes forget about that. So make sure that you're searching on templates inside of project and then click on enter. And after that, you're going to see that there is a bunch of portfolio template that you can customize. Of course, you will want to make sure that the template that you're choosing is totally free. You can differentiate between the free one and the paid one by the symbol on the bottom right corner of each template. You can see that there are some crown symbol and there's also some currency symbols. If you see those symbols, it means that there are some paid element in it. So make sure to avoid that. Next, I'm going to try and see if I can be more specific about what I'm searching for. So I'm going to go back to the search bar and then I'm going to type out social media portfolio and then we're going to see what we're going to get. All right, so here are the results. So another way where you can try to find some portfolio specifically for a social media manager, you can also search social media portfolio or you can also search for creative portfolio. It has quite the same templates to it. And as you can see, there is a lot of templates that you can play around with. Most of them are obviously pay. So if you want to use the pay templates, you can just go ahead and feel free to upgrade your plan on Canva. But today's tutorial are going to be free account friendly. So I'm just going to choose on the template that doesn't require me to pay anything. Now, once you're looking around at the template, you can click on the templates that you're going to use and it's going to give you a preview on how many pages does the template have or what does the template looks like. And let's say that you are probably drawn to a certain template, but you don't feel like it's quite the right templates for you. You can just go ahead and scroll down and below the templates that you clicked, you're going to find some more suggestion. And those suggestions are usually pretty similar to the templates that you just take a look at. I'm pretty interested with these portfolio right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to use it. It has 14 pages that I can customize. And to customize the template, I can just go ahead and click on that and then click on customize these template. All right, so here is the portfolio. I somehow accidentally add just one page instead of all of the 14 page. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on apply all 14 page and wait until it's finished loading. All right, now that we got our template, I'm going to try and explain bits by bits on what is going on on these templates. So on our first page over here, obviously it's going to be our cover page. And then on the second page, it's going to be a list of content. You can skip this if you want. Let's say that if you don't really have a lot of pages, you can just go ahead and skip this. But if you want to use it, I recommend you to link on each of the pages wording with the actual page. Let's say that on your fifth page, it's actually vision. You can actually link those wording to the actual page. So let's say if people click on it, it's going to bring them to that specific page. Right here, we have the introduction page. So it's very important for you to present yourself well. You can add a short bio about who you are and what you're working like what you do on daily basis or what you do professionally is very important to choose the right pictures as well as the right wording for your introductions. You will want people to know about your skill more or less when they read on that part right there. On the fourth page, we have these experience numbers, some sort of number that will 
represent your experiences. For example, the very top one is the followers number and then your sales number and then the amount of product design. So I think that this portfolio is specifically designed for a graphic designer of some sort but don't worry as always you can just customize it according to how you need it so for example on these second number right here i'm going to change it into some sort of engagement rate you know that is quite important for a social media manager or social media user to know the amount of engagement rate that they have with their followers because it's going to affect the higher ups to think whether you're worthy or not to be hired as their social media manager and then maybe you can change the other number as your tiktok viewer or maybe as projects the amount of project that you have already held you can just go ahead and use it on the sections right here and on the fifth page we have the vision page I don't really think that this page right here is quite important. I don't really see them in most social media manager portfolio. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that page, but feel free to use it if you want. And on the sixth page, we will have the personal skill. Now it becomes a fifth page because we just delete the vision one. And on this personal skill, I really recommend you to insert some hard skills or some application that you can use so that they know that you're pretty familiar to the application that are going to support the social media planning. So for example, you know how to use CapCut or Adobe Illustrator, TikTok and Instagram or any other skills that you are proficient on. I really recommend you to put it on this page right here. And you can also add up the symbol so that it's going to make it easier for the company to see. Of course, not all of the elements, not all of the logo elements in Canva is free. But don't worry, you can just use the pictures of the applications instead. Next, we have the education page. So this is also very important. You will want to input the data of the most related Field that you've already learned let's say you took some courses or maybe you're majoring in um, communication or any other major that might support social media management you can go ahead and insert that do refrain from adding any unnecessary education so that it will not confuse people next we have the work experience page over here you can put in the pictures of the project that you've already created. Maybe you work with some brands or maybe you have prior experiences in managing social media. You can just insert those details on this page right here. This page is just going to be for the pictures and we're going to have another breakdown or another details of your experiences on the next pages. For example, on this one, it shows the amount of project that you might have held Meanwhile, the page before only shows pictures, these ones will show a more detail but still short. So make sure to insert some short bio or some short descriptions on what are the projects that you've already put your hands on. And then if you want to go even more detail, you can go to the next pages right here. As you can see, the next pages have the combination of the first two pages that we were talking about earlier. It has the pictures as well as the short combination. But again, those here are totally customizable. You can just change it to however you like. And this page right here, it actually shows the notable projects. So let's say that you have already put your hands on a project that is that were successfully made and you manage a social media and they went viral or something like that. It is very important to create a new page for that specific things so that other people can also see your achievement easily. Now the last page of this template actually just says thanks for watching because this template actually came in the form of video but don't worry we can always save it as PDF later. But one thing I don't really like about this template is the fact that the context detail is very small. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the thanks for watching wording and I'm going to change it to contact us. And then I'm also going to enlarge the contact details a little bit. 
all right and that is it it's pretty simple it's pretty easy you can always add more pages or maybe deduct any pages you feel are unnecessary but these are the basic things you will need if you want to create a portfolio as a social media manager and that's it for today i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day